Hi, this is Jen here with a quick Tech Tips 411 quick tip, and I'm going to show you how to use a web based tool called Web Captioner to put a web captioning, closed captioning window below your screen, which is great for Zoom uh, calls where you need to have closed captioning available. So, we're going to go over here to this website that's called Web Captioner. And this is a free tool, it's web based. I'm going to put the link in the description for this video on how you can use it. It's a great tool because I can click here and say start captioning. As I'm talking, it's pretty good at real time capturing what I'm saying. But what I want to be able to do is either one, I could have this window open on my screen if I'm not presenting in my Zoom call. When I want to talk to students, I can have this on the screen. But oftentimes you want to be able to share your screen and have that at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click down here under this where the settings icon is, that three dots, and I'm going to choose new window. When I choose a new window, it brought up this little mini window down here in the bottom. What I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to resize my window to be above this right here. And I really only need that, that lower window right here, that just that bottom line. So now by doing that, I can go through and I can present and have that live captioning happening during my Zoom session. So this is great for your students that are hard of hearing or language learners. And that also helps those visual learners that maybe need to pick up on vocabulary. And as you can see, it does a really good job of capturing what I'm saying. Now, I would be mindful of the fact that you don't want us to talk too fast because if you start talking really fast, it might miss a word or two. In addition to that, it also might mishear what you're saying. So it might put something on the screen that doesn't actually capture what you're saying. But this is a really cool, easy to use tool that you can use with your Zoom calls to provide that extra support of closed captioning. And the benefit is, yes, you could use Google Slides, Yes, you could use PowerPoint, but that's only if you're in presentation mode. This allows me to be on my web page. I can go to my backpack. I can go to my Google Classroom. I can go to other websites, and that's still going to live there at the bottom of my window for students. I hope you found this video beneficial. If you did, give it a thumbs up and go ahead and like and subscribe to this channel so that you'll be alerted for my future Tech Tip 411 Quick Tips. Thanks for watching.